Since Gal Gadot stepped in as Wonder Woman, the two movies have seen a huge hit among audiences. Quickly after the second movie was released, fans demanded more, and they surely got more when the third movie was greenlighted days after the second one premiered. I've killed things from other worlds before. But the journey of this movie is much more complicated than it appears. Following the huge success of Wonder Woman 1984, it was set that a third movie will be made to conclude the anticipated trilogy, and director Patty Jenkins couldn't be more excited. Warner Brothers announced the third installment in December 2020, and we couldn't be more excited about the return of Diana on the big screen. Over the past few years, there has been plenty of behind-the-scenes drama at Warner Brothers, and fans were left wondering which other projects might next be dragged to the chopping block. Although the third installment was greenlit in 2020, with both Gal Gadot and Patty Jenkins set to return, recently things have changed and we're sad to say that they have changed for the worse. On December 9, 2022, Warner Brothers announced that they are no longer moving forward with Wonder Woman 3. This cancellation came as a complete shock to everyone. James Gunn and Peter Safran went on to elaborate that they're doing everything they can to further expand the DC Universe and evolve the DC character. They said that they can't keep every person happy and they're doing everything in their power to give every character the story and the attention they deserve. After the release of the second movie and the huge success it gained, Warner Brothers decided to fast-track the third film and conclude the trilogy. Jenkins was set to return as a writer and director for the movie. She said that she had various plans for the third movie. All of this came crashing down when the studio decided to pause the movie indefinitely. However, even though the DCEU is still trying to figure out what to do next, we shouldn't completely disregard the third Wonder Woman movie. The movie was greenlit at some point, and it was well on its way to production and filming. So who says that it can reach that stage once again? Jenkins has explained that she'll always be on board to create another incredible Wonder Woman movie, and she hopes that Warner Brothers will reconsider their decision and allow her to give an end to the trilogy. It's not about deserve. It's about what you believe, and I believe in love. In the past years, Gadot and Jenkins were even working on a script together for the movie, which Gadot revealed to be quite exciting. Over the years, the release date for the third movie was never officially confirmed, but many speculated that because Jenkins is busy making a Star Wars movie that's due in December 2023, the filming for Wonder Woman 3 would begin after this project is done. I kept looking and looking, but I just couldn't find the right one until now. If Wonder Woman 3 is renewed, it could mean that we would have to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, we'd have to wait a while before we get to see it. With all the drama that has been going on at Warner Brothers, many speculate that this movie might not see the light of day, but we're hopeful and we believe that eventually they'll realize what a huge mistake they made and will allow Jenkins to move on with the third installment. Given that a script was in the works and we assume it might be already finished, then if this movie were to be confirmed again in 2023, that could mean that the filming could begin almost instantly as long as everyone included are available. Our best guess is that this movie won't start shooting until December 2023, which could mean that filming will conclude sometime in 2024, giving us either a late 2024 or early 2025 release date. We know that's quite a long wait since the last time we saw Wonder Woman, but better late than never, right? We don't even have to mention that Gal Gadot will be back to reprise her role as Diana Price or Wonder Woman. This entire franchise began with her and will likely end with her as Price. Over the two movies, Diana has reunited with her true love Steve Trevor, played by Chris Pine. However, the ending hints that she could finally move on and find love again. So we don't expect Pine to return and return from the dead once again. Pine has spoken about his role, and he said that he believes that Steve has done his bit. In the 2020 sequel, we got to see the original Wonder Woman actress Linda Carter as Asteria, but it has been said that if a third movie happens, we'll get to see her in a much bigger role. In 2021, Gadot even spoke about Carter's role and said that Asteria's arc will be even better this time around. Some of the other characters that are expected to return are Kristen Wiig as Cheetah. This villainous character was intestinally given an open ending. She's one of Wonder Woman's most prominent arch enemies in the comics, and yet she was mostly a secondary villain in Wonder Woman 1984. Bringing this character back in a bigger way could be an interesting move, and this time around maybe she'll be the leading villain of this movie. 
Apart from the returning characters we're expected to see, the third movie will likely feature a few new additions. However, with everything going on, it's hard to assume who might be joining and if anyone will. Although this is mostly speculation, we have high hopes and believe that Warner Brothers will give a second chance to this movie and give us a proper ending to this fascinating franchise. When the third movie was confirmed, one of the main things that were shared about the movie was that it will finally be set in the present or it will continue Diana's story past Justice League. Unlike the previous two movies, which were period pieces, the third one will finally allow us to see Diana in the present and Jenkins has been vocal about not having Diana go back in the past again. Diana's first outing put her in the midst of World War I, while the sequel saw her living in the height of the Cold War. Currently, all of the plot details about the third movie have been kept under wraps, but the desire to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, the desire to leave the past behind has been crucial for both Jenkins and Gadot. Jenkins spoke about having a loose idea of where the third movie would go, and even though we don't know any details, the end credit scene from Wonder Woman 1984 might have held a clue. In the sequel's final moments, Linda Carter made a cameo as the legendary Amazonian hero Asteria. The Golden Warrior, as she was also called in the film, was thought to have died protecting the Amazon women from the tides of men. This final scene showed us that she's indeed still there and walking around ready to step back once again, and with rumors that Carter will be back to reprise her role, it only makes sense that we'll get to see more from her and how she will fit in the entire story of the third movie. The first Wonder Woman movie arrived in 2017 and it was the first time we saw Godot as Diana Price. After this movie premiered, fans were fascinated by the portrayal of Wonder Woman and the movie was an instant hit. Three years later, a sequel followed that was a huge success at the box office worldwide. In the first movie, Diana became involved in the conflict while hunting down Ares, a longtime enemy of the Amazons and the one she believes to be the cause of the Great War. In the sequel, we saw Diana come into conflict with not one, but two formidable foes in the form of Cheetah and the mysterious media mogul Maxwell Lord. Both of the movies were received incredibly well, and Gadot then became a part of Justice League and had a few cameos in various DC movies. Her story hasn't ended. Even if the third movie doesn't happen, Diana Price's story still needs to be told. Many believe that even though she might not get the final movie everyone wanted, she still might be a part of a Justice League sequel or a huge part of future projects by the DCEU. We can't say for sure what the plans for Wonder Woman are, but we're remaining hopeful that we'll see Gadot in her Wonder Woman suit at least once more. You'll love this video next.